Olama, you've heard about all these open source artificial intelligences that are powered thing. They're powering things like ChatGPT. Well, guess what? Google and Facebook Meta, they are giving away those models for free. Although they are a challenge to get up and running on your hardware, but guess what? This is where Olama comes in. Olama makes it super easy for you to run these models on your own hardware locally or even on a server in the cloud. And the let's fault let's let's get started let's see how we can get that running on our own system you're gonna want to at least get started by downloading the go to uh olama.com here and then uh, click download and you can choose linux and windows uh and mac os so basically anything once you click download it's going to give you the installation packages what you're going to do with those is install them on your system uh, actually let's click take a take a look here real quick in that zip file that you downloaded is going to be the application that can execute directly on your system and you'll be able to use it as a command line prompt and then generate responses from the AI. The installation is super simple. They make it really easy. And now you can, oh, but wait, before we go f before we go to the next phase, take a look at all the different models that are available. Basically every model that you can think of is on this list, including the next gen, the latest, uh, the two most powerful that are available right now are your course. You've got the, uh, the the Llama 3, you've got the Gemma models from Google, and then you've also got the Mistral models, the Mixtral. I wonder if Mixtral's in here. Yes, you get the Mixtral. Now note that you'll need some pretty significant hardware to run these, these models. They do provide a CPU only option. Responses, they'll be a little bit slow, especially the larger the model, the slower the response. And you will need, you will need a, a lot of uh, memory, either GPU memory or system memory to run these models. There is another way to install Olama and run it on your system using Docker. That's my preferred method. I like using Docker as my uh, container to sort of get most any open source projects up and running pretty quick and easily on my system. There, it, there's a really easy command you can just run one liner if you already have Docker installed. You just run this command here where you say Olama quite a few times, right? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> You have to repeat, they really want you to repeat that uh, that word as many times as you can. What you'll do is you'll run this. This is going to start uh, a container that's running and has access to uh, a port. And then you can start running uh, commands against that. Uh, and it's really straightforward. Let's see here really quick. Here you go. So then you'd run this command here, docker exe. You'd point at the containers that are running, uh, and then you would type in the model that you want to have run, followed by the prompt that you want to want it to complete. So it would be the completion prompt. So I have it up and running on my system. You know, I ran this command here. I ran the uh, Docker run command. Uh, that will download all the images, everything locally on your system, and then you can run uh, any of the commands for any of the models. And the cool part is, you don't need to go install the models directly. Uh, Olama will recognize that the model is not available on the volume mount. There's a dash V here that's being used to store your data in an Olama folder. So I can just run this command here, say docker exe, uh, Olama run, and the model name and the, the, the version of the model, so the two billion parameters. And then you just type in the prompt in quotes, press enter, and then you'll see that the system will start running uh, it's, and it will begin processing. Oh, look at it, there it goes. And it's doing, it's, it's providing you the output in real time. Uh, and it did what I asked it to do. I said, what is another word for run? Uh, and it said uh, stride, for example. And a stride is a short, fast hop or step that is used when walking and running. It, it did the trick. So I see it's more of a question answer, sort of a, a, an assistant style model with the Gemma 2 here. I'm wondering if uh, we can we can basically just ask a question. Maybe what is another word for llama? Let's just let's just say llama. Let's see 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 what it comes back with here. Another word for llama is oh okay okay well <laughs> I like camel I guess kind of um it not a, not exactly maybe here. The size of the model that you will run is is important, right? I chose a smaller model because it's you know less disk volume, less usage, and it runs faster. You will pick larger models for better responses at the cost of a more resource intensive requirements for your system. I'm actually kind of curious to see if we can use this in business. Help me with an outline to improve social media presence list format, maybe something like that. All right, let's see how good it is at business. Oh, all right, okay. It's actually, uh, sure, okay, it's giving me 
very basic develop high quality. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, it is giving me a generic response. I gave it a generic question. The cool part is it's actually working and it's, it's doing what I asked it to do. Ooh, develop a consistent tone and personality. Now see that, that's a good one right there. I mean, I mean these are just general guidelines. Uh, wow, this very, uh, all right. I'm I'm satisfied, and this is just the the smaller model. Imagine what the larger models can do. And this is now something you can run on your own system. You don't need to pay for running these models in these other vendors. Uh, you can go to Meta.ai, and on on that website, you can just freely ask it to do uh, you know do the same thing that you would have ChatGPT do for you. Uh, so there are free options available. It just keeps going. Look at this. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'm, I'm impressed and very satisfied with this. All right, so yeah, there you go. Now you can run your own models, your own AI on your own hardware.